Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first video dedicated to CAD technologies. Today we will have a short hands-on experience on Hewlett Packard RGS, also known as Remote Graphics Software. Hewlett Packard RGS has been on the market since year 2003, promoted and developed by Hewlett Packard as a solution to offer real-time collaboration and workstation class mobility to remote workers. In 2019, the product has been rebranded, and in November, during Autodesk University in Las Vegas, it has been relaunched with the new commercial name Z Central Remote Boost Software. So, if you are interested in this technology, you need to search for Z Central Remote Boost. Our goal today is to understand if this specific solution can satisfy the needs of CAD users working in a remote scenario. And to do that, I will immediately connect to my remote workstation. And the first thing that I notice is that my monitors appear to be directly connected to the remote workstation. Normally, I'm used to deal with windows that need to be docked on the left and on the right screen, emulating the screens I have remotely. Here, I do not even need remote screens because this workstation is completely headless. I can just work with my local screens. The next important detail for CAD users is that if I query my remote CAD system, I have the feedback that I'm taking advantage of full GPU hardware rendering. That's why I read hardware renderer over there. This means that there is no need of expensive graphic cards locally. The power and the capacity is kept remotely in the remote workstation. The next important detail for CAD users is the support for USB exotic devices, which normally improve their efficiency and speed up their activities. In my specific case, I'm using a 3D Connection Space Pilot Pro, which is attached to my local device and which can interact perfectly with the remote workstation. So I can configure the sensitivity of the device the way I want, I can set up my shortcut on the device keys the way I'm used to, and I will be able to use it on the remote workstation. Performance. We have done some benchmarking of some of the 40 products offering comparable services available today on the market. Normally, we were always able to measure a 3 to 5% performance loss if we compare the remote work condition to the on-site work condition. With Hewlett Packard RGS, the performance loss that we have been able to measure was between 0.5 and 1%, which is something I would say neglectable on the user perspective. Licensing. The Hewlett Packard system works with a sender and a receiver. The remote workstation is called sender, the local device is called the receiver. Now, the local device never requires a license and can be a Windows, a Mac or a thin client machine. The sender, so the remote workstation, does require a license unless it's a Hewlett Packard workstation. So, in our case, we are working with the Fujitsu workstation, everything works fine, but a license is needed. Last but not least, user experience. I have been using this setup for a while now, and I could not notice any particular limitation for a typical CAD designer activity. Clearly, some color accuracy issues and some MPEG compression artifacts are visible from time to time, especially when performing fast movements of objects on the screen. This is mainly due to the need of compressing the video stream between the sender and the receiver. At the end of the game, my user experience as a CAD designer is not really affected by such cosmetic issues. In the vast majority of cases, 
typical CAD users will be able to accomplish their task in this specific scenario. Right now, I'm sitting 80 kilometers away from the re remote workstation. My internet connection is nothing more than any private internet connection available today on the market. And my frame rate has always remained between 20 and 30 frames per second, which is probably not enough for gaming, but it's absolutely fine for my activity. I should also mention that right now I'm working on a double WQHD solution, which means 5120 pixel times 1440, which is a pretty big setup. So, just to wrap it up. First, local monitors are optimally connected to the remote workstation. Second, GPU hardware acceleration is preserved and works fine without performance loss. Third, CAD-specific USB devices are properly forwarded and usable. Fourth, user experience is, as far as I can, as I can tell, absolutely acceptable for a remote working of a CAD user. With these requirements fulfilled, I personally do not see at this moment any limitation in the usability of this solution. We have tested some of the different systems available on the market and Hewlett Packard RGS, alias Z Central Remote Boost, is the first one that fulfills all typical requirements of designers working remotely. So if you dislike this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, please make sure that you let us know, subscribe, and don't miss our next video, which will demonstrate how to build an Autodesk Inventor read-only deployment.